Ms. Maniello, Mrs. Allen, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, Ms. Smith, parents, and classmates. It is my honor to address you as our valedictorian. When I first heard that I had been selected to make a speech, I didn't feel right. Although I am proud of my academic accomplishments, and I appreciate the recognition of my effort. Indeed, it is often those who work behind the scenes with little thought of reward who made the greatest contribution. Our first unsung hero is Ian Flakers. Although he is neither a prefect nor proctor, I dare to say that he is one of the best leaders in our senior class. Every night during sit-down dinner, Ian is in the dish room, helping the waiters and the work crew clear the mess made in the wake of feeding 350 people at the evening meal four times a week. Does he ask for attention? No. That comes when he performs on stage with the drama club or sings for the children. Then he asks for attention and basks in it. Another unsung hero is Jay Hooper. No doubt he is a cheerleader in the school. Not only did he provide color commentary for our internet broadcast of the hockey team, he also seemed to have a knack of recognizing those around him in need of a kind word. Hoops always take the time to tell his classmates that they can do what they need to do. His smile may be crazy, but no one can doubt his words. <laughs> Hoops is also our campus environmentalist constantly reminding people to recycle and demonstrating the proper use of winter clothing by wearing his bright orange hole hat. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he sleeps in it. My third unsung hero is a Renaissance man named Yetsuki Yashina, who takes his responsibility seriously. As an editor of both Vital Science and Phoenix, he is no doubt the one of the busiest, busiest men on campus. Every Thursday night, the night before the newspaper is printed, Yitsuki will be in the computer lab, working until midnight, 1, 2, even 3 a.m. Furthermore, Yitsuki carried the toughest academic schedule in the school, six courses of which five were APs. In addition to his academic and extracurricular pursuits, he's also an athlete, competing for the squash and track team. These are just a few of the heroes of, of, of our class who, with no thought of reward, do so much to make this place better. What's really amazing, however, is what happens when the entire class comes together. We will always remember the incredible spirit generated by fans cheering for the varsity basketball team in its amazing come from behind win against Taft this past winter. We will always remember bending together to dress up and raising over $5,000 for the son of an alumnus in need of a bone marrow transplant. And we will always remember saying goodbye to the underclassmen and faculty as we line to walk in front of chapel after our stepping up ceremony. Life is about taking opportunities when presented. My mentor, Miles Hubbard, always reminds me to take opportunities like when Walipip took a day off to let a young athlete named Lou Gehrig play. Gehrig took an approach to play 2,133 games. TP let us all be Lou Gehrig by providing us a chance to take opportunities. We are all lucky to be here. Let me share the experience of seizing opportunities. Vital Science is a school science magazine, and last year, the publication went into hibernation for lack of interest. I knew it would be very difficult to restart it, but the school supported us. <laughs> Ms. Q and Ms. Copeland provided support for the science background. Mrs. Reed helped us with English language. What's more important, there were so many students who have an enthusiasm for science, wrote articles for the magazine. We brought out two issues for the magazine, and I learned so much in the process. TP was a stepping stone that enables me to fulfill my potential and seize the opportunity. This would not have been possible, however, without the mentors TP also provides. 
Mrs. Reed, Ms. Kill, and Ms. Copeland give me the confidence to restart vital signs. But there are so many unsung hero teachers who go above and beyond to help students believe in themselves and seize opportunities. Even during weekends, Ms. Dunlop is in the English office, doling out extra help, not only for his students, but anyone needing assistance. Ms. Gadget is one of the most giving gentlemen in the school. Whenever we ask for help, he spares no effort to help us. I think that we will always remember Ms. Mead, who helped send us to college. Finally, I want to thank the teachers who helped me with the speech. TP provides a myriad of opportunities. The faculties act as mentors and show us how to take advantage of all the school offers. And the students support one another in order to make this place better. This is the place where we study, where we live, where we laugh and where we cry. What's more important, it is the place where we love. Thank you to faculty and parents and to the students who follow. Congratulations to the class of 2012.